Hi everyone, I'm Mitzi Janelle Tan, a climate justice activist based in the Philippines and I organize with Youth Advocates for Climate Action Philippines, the Fridays for Future counterpart of our country and with Fridays for Future International, the global youth climate movement. A lot of times people don't realize that gender justice is connected with climate justice, but when we look at it, who are the people most vulnerable to the climate crisis? It's women, especially women of color. Um, women of lower income, our indigenous women, in, um, small farmers who are women, small fisher folk who are women. If you look at it, 80% of the world's poor are women. And in times of disaster and um, distress, women are more prone to sexual harassment and harassment in general. There's also how in evacuation centers when there are um, extreme weather events, sanitation and, and, and safety is usually not something that's available for a lot of women. and. A very concrete example of this is how when in 2013 a typhoon called Typhoon Haiyan hit the Philippines and because of the devastating impact on the community, a lot of young girls and women were, were forced into sex work or prostitution against their will. And here we're seeing how women, especially marginalized women, are some of the ones that are most impacted by the climate crisis. That's why it's so important that governments and businesses and nonprofits not just listen to women as victims of the climate crisis but listen to women as voices of leadership listen to the resistance that women especially in marginalized communities are taking up and not just listening to a specific class of women or a specific sector section of women it's we have to make sure that we're listening to, especially to the most marginalized women and to do this, women have to be empowered with education, with information. And we can't just have one or two or three women from one place, one city. We have to constantly go to the women and consult them and have active consultation and learn and listen from these women. It's so important that this happens because how can someone who has never experienced the climate crisis, how can someone who has never experienced the gender violence that happens during the climate crisis understand what's needed. How can someone, how can a, a cis man um, who has never had to deal with water and sanitation and hygiene amidst the climate crisis, the problems of women amidst, amidst the climate crisis ever come up with a solution? And so we have to make sure that when we're dismantling the climate crisis, it's also about dismantling the patriarchy and this class inequality and this profit-oriented system and all systems of oppression and injustice really. Because women are the leaders of this revolution. Women and the most marginalized sectors of society have to come together and lead the way to climate justice.